If Saul's camera gut, the lake region of Austria, looks familiar, it's because it resembles heaven on earth. But aside from the biblical reference, the hills were also once alive with the sound of music when the cinematic classic was filmed here in the 1960s. Glacial waters surrounded by steep peaks encapsulate as you depart the ship on your included excursion of the city of Salzburg, where manicured nature is grandly exhibited at the Mirabel Garden. The first garden terrace is the so-called orange garden or orangerie. Ooh, look at this. The Baroque system works with digits. Everything in the garden is divided per two. For example, 48 vases, 24 statues. This is so aesthetically pleasing. They're amazing. Here we have the main garden fountain and ends up with the two most important buildings of Salzburg, the cathedral as a symbol of clerical or religious power, and on top, a fortress as a symbol of secular power. I have such an appreciation for this now, now that I have my own garden. <laughs> it's unbelievable, I had no idea. It was this beautiful. That is spectacular. Cross the Salzach River, explore the old town of Aldstadt, and discover the delightful street of Getschreitgasse, where Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was born. This is my happy place. There's shopping, it's old timey, it's all the things that speak to my heart. Starts with Monk's Hill over there, ends up with Mozart Square at the end of Old Town. It's amazing to think that he could have sat in this very square writing a masterpiece. He wrote more than 600 pieces of music during his short life of 35 years. A lot of greatness on these streets. And plenty of food options like the classic pretzel. What is the significance of the shape of the pretzel? There's got to be a story there. The monks turn around in the abbey like, like this. And that's a sign of friendship too. So a pretzel's sort of like a giant hug. I do not understand this one. I'm so a hug! Sorry. A hug! Oh! oh. A hug. Okay. It looks like a hug. Should a snack not fully satiate, then set sail and simply choose where it is you wish to eat. There's the finely prepared fare meticulously served at the chef's table, casual courses served in both the main dining room and Jimmy's restaurant, or just find a seat on the bow of the ship deck and feast al fresco on locally sourced flavors while Europe calmly coasts by. Can we just take a moment here and look at this castle? Fantastic. How is this happening? We're just cruising by a castle. It's so surreal. It's gonna be rough going home. Where else can you sit on a sun deck, have your breakfast and watch the world go by? Every moment's special. It's the most relaxing thing. Plus, we're going somewhere. And we dock in the middle of every little town, so you're right there. It really fills you up. It does. When you come to port, bicycles provided by the ship make for the perfect way to pioneer the lush green pastures. Situated in the Wachau Valley, the picturesque town of Dernstein comes equipped with castle ruins, winding roads, views of the ever-present Danube River, and terraced vineyards as far as the eye can see. Cultivated by the Harm family for six generations, producing Gruner Veltliner and Riesling vintages, the region is famous for its grapes, but also for their fleshy, sweet, golden apricots. These apricots here are world famous. What makes them so special? These trees are very old ones. It grows up here in the Hau region many years ago, and they have the best aromatic notes. Mm. It smells a little bit like a perfume or like a yes. fragrance. So what are we looking for when we go to find the perfect apricot? You see here, mm -hmm. these are perfect apricots. This is what we're looking for. Yes. When you push them, it has to be soft, but not really soft. Not mushy. Yeah. This is a good one? It's a good one. Okay. Perfect. How would you describe the Wachau Valley? It's very, very old, more than a few thousand years old. It does feel relaxed and calm here. It is not hectic at all. Yes, and that's very special. It is special. It's a fairy tale kind of place. <laughs> Just pick it right up and put it here. Oh my gosh, the basket's so cute. <laughs> so how long has your family been working here in Dernstein? About seven or eight generations. Wow. So you've been climbing these trees since you were... Mm -hmm. Just tiny, tiny? Tiny, tiny, three years. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. When I was a little girl, it was very fun to work with my father here. And it's very important for me to give this to my children. And I hope they will take care of it. 
This must be like looking in the mirror, running, like you did the same thing with your sisters. And now you're passing it down to your kids, mm -hmm. which is really great. Yeah. Yeah. I love this.